Hi there everyone, so this video is looking at how we make monosaccharides and disaccharides. So we're going to start with the idea of making disaccharides. So just as a refresher from a previous video, um, let's remind ourselves of which monosaccharides are needed to make which disaccharides. So glucose and glucose will combine together in a reaction to make maltose and at the same time water. Glucose and galactose will combine and react together to make lactose and water. And glucose and fructose will react together to make sucrose and water. And a reminder that these are condensation reactions because we make water each time. And then a reminder that if we want to make our monosaccharides, so we go the other way, so start with our disaccharide and water, that's what we call a hydrolysis reaction. Okay, so let's take two monosaccharides and see how they join together. So we'll start off with our alpha glucose. So a reminder that you need to be able to draw this from memory. So here's our alpha glucose molecule uh, with all of the atoms and all of the bonds draw in, drawn in. If we have another alpha glucose and we react them together, then we would make the disaccharide maltose. So that's how we're going to show how that happens. So we've got here two alpha glucose molecules. So if we manage to bond them together, we'll make maltose. Now the convention when we've got monosaccharides is that we number the carbon atoms um, and that helps us when we're describing which kinds of bonds have formed. So this first carbon here in the ring, the first one to the right of the oxygen is carbon one. There's two, three, four, five and six and we'll do that on the other side as well. So we know that this is a condensation reaction so water is going to be removed. These two parts here, the hydrogen from one hydroxyl group and the whole hydroxyl group from another carbon will be removed. Uh, and you can see that it's come from carbon one and carbon four. Now it doesn't matter whether you take the hydrogen here and the hydroxyl group here, or whether it's the whole hydroxyl group here and the hydrogen here, it doesn't matter. But it's from both of the hydroxyl groups. And it has to be from carbon one and carbon four. So if you remove those three atoms, this is what you're left with. And of course, remember, carbon has to form four bonds. So this carbon here at the moment is actually still fine. We've got one, two, three, four bonds. But this carbon here now only has three. Oxygen atoms have to always form two bonds. So this oxygen now, because there's no hydrogen joined to it, there is only one bond. So this oxygen and this carbon make a bond between one another. If we just redraw that like this, so it's a little bit neater. What we've got now then is the two alpha glucose molecules. So we've got our two monosaccharides joined from the carbon of one, so carbon one, via an oxygen to carbon four. This is known as a 1,4 glycosidic bond. So a glycosidic bond is just the bond between two monosaccharides and you get glycosidic bond when you make disaccharides and then when you then make polysaccharides they would also be glycosidic bonds and it's 1,4 because it's joining carbon one uh, carbon four together. Okay, so how would we then make our monosaccharides? It's basically the same process, but in reverse. So here is the disaccharide that we made. So here is our maltose molecule. And you can see here we've got our one four glycosidic bond. Now we know that we need to add water. This is a hydrolysis reaction. So when we made the maltose, it was condensation reaction, water was removed. Now we have to add 
water. So we have to add two hydrogens and oxygen. A hydroxyl group is going to join to one of the carbons here, which means that that bond breaks and the hydrogen will join to the oxygen to make a second hydroxyl group here. Let's redraw that. And now you can see that both of our alpha glucose molecules are now correct. The carbon one on this alpha glucose has got a hydroxyl group here and the carbon four has got a hydroxyl group. So those atoms came from the water that was added. And that's it.